In this week's EOS Friday, we're going to take a look at how we can go from the EOS to calculating the vapor pressure. We're first going to take a look at the Maxwell construction for finding the vapor pressure. Then we're going to see how does the vapor pressure change with temperature. And then finally, we'll take a look at what's to come next week. Let's start off by diving into the Maxwell construction. We have our now familiar cubic equation of state graph, and we take an estimate of what we think the vapor pressure is. Then we get two areas, A1 and A2. If we calculate these areas, we see that they're not exactly the same. And this is going to be our rule for finding the vapor pressure. We want these two areas to be equal. What you see is that if we increase the vapor pressure, we get a smaller area for A2. If we decrease the vapor pressure, we get a smaller area for A1. What we want to try to do is get the areas just right so that they're equal. Now if we increase the temperature and keep the two areas equal, we'll get the estimates of vapor pressure versus temperature. Let's repeat this process, but take note of where the vapor pressure estimate crosses the EOS graph on the left and the right side. The white solid lines here that are recorded every so often are the actual curves that the fluid is going to follow. These lines indicate that when the fluid is at its vapor pressure, the pressure is going to stay constant until the fluid has gone from 100% liquid on the left to 100% vapor on the right. This is indicated by a green line indicating the liquid route on the left and a red line indicating the vapor route on the right. The area between these two lines indicates the two-phase region of this fluid and is indicated here by the blue shaded area. This summarizes the very basics of the vapor pressure calculation. So what's next? Well, Next week, we're going to be doing some serious algebra, and we're going to be deriving the formulation of the A and the B term in the EOS from the critical temperature and the critical pressure. I'm looking forward to it. Until next time, thank you for watching.